Hi there, welcome back to the next video and in this video I will show you how you can get the both index value as well as the list value using the for loop in Python. So this is something uh, a regular requirement of a coder that uh, along with the list values which you can access uh, you also want to get the index value maybe just to get uh, the value properly printed or you want to have some operation both on the index as well as on the values and uh, generally I've seen that uh, people have been asking question or searching for a problem solution of a problem like this and before we move ahead just a quick suggestion that if you have pro similar problems like this let me know in the comments and I will figure it out sometime to create a video on that all right so let's move ahead and let's say I have one list all right let me just go in and edit more L1 and uh, let's say I have some values some random values which I am picking as you can see um, some values now this L1 if I just print L sorry L1 you you will print the values but generally what it does not show is the index value it has the index value attached to it so if you see L1 dot index sorry so it has the index value starting from here and stopping you know altogether somewhere at the end but overall you have like zero one two three four of index value like that so what you can do is if you want to get a print of both index and value so you can come into the for loop first of all for idx for index well for value for idx comma well in l1 and this l1 you need to you know bind it in the enumerate enumerate basically helps you to get both index and value colon and then you can just say print idx comma well if you go ahead and print this you will see both the values the index value 0 1 2 3 4 and the value of a list this way using the enumerate function you can get you know the indexing that is behind this and that's basically a catch which is uh, uh, generally uh, people are not aware about and uh, once you know this it's it becomes it basically helps you do your data operations very easily so that's about it a very quick tip and trick and uh, i will meet you in the next video